we're going to move on from history to language arts, but you know what's awesome about that? History and literature are often combined. You know how we combine them? With books like history books, but also biographies and historical fiction. Do you guys know what a biography is? Uh, Go ahead, Millie. What's a biography? A biography is a book that tells about real stories. Yes, but a history book tells about real stories. What makes a biography special and different from, say, a history book? Who writes a history book? Uh, many persons? Mm, sometimes. Um, biographies are usually books about one person and about their life and how they fit into history. Do you this know... This biography is not about one person. This is not a biography. This is an autobiography. Do you uh, know what an autobiography is? Uh, the opposite of a biography. No, that'd be a non-biography or an anti-biography. Oh, okay. Autobiography is a book that is written about the person it's talking about. Oh. But written by the first person it's talking about. So if you wrote a book about Millie's life, that would be an autobiography. But if you wrote a book about Daddy's life, that would be a biography. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. So this is an autobiography. It is a book written by the people who experienced the event. It's actually three people who wrote this particular book because these are taken from journals and letters. So, Ow. yeah. First, we're going to talk about what we were talking about in history recently. So the country was very, very young. How many colonies or original states were there in the United States? Do you know? It's um, mommy's favorite number. Thirteen. Thirteen. There were thirteen original colonies, but how many states do we have today? Fifty. So how did we get all of those states? Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark did a lot, but... And Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas, or started, started settling the Americas. Um, and that's how we got the original colonies, as people started coming over and settling. But before someone can settle a place, what do they have to do? Discover. Discover. They have to explore and go out on adventures. Yay! Yay! So when the country was very young... In 1803, that was, okay, 1776 was when we declared our independence from Britain, and we were not actually free until 1783. So we're talking 20 years later, 20 years after the United States was formed, uh, France wanted to sell some land. Thank you. And so they sold this huge chunk of land. I've actually got a map about it. Let me show you the map if I can get it. Okay. So here, oh, I just pushed my, my mouse. Here is a portion of the United States. So here are the original colonies, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's some of the discovered territory. So all of the Michigan, Indiana, Wisconsin -y area, and then down here. Now, Florida was contested property. Nobody really wanted it. It was all swamps anyways. This area over here was also contested and would eventually become Texas. This over here was owned by Spain. And then up here was owned by Britain. But this whole swath in the middle was owned by France. And France was fighting a war in, in Europe. So they needed some money. And they needed also not to have all of their soldiers hanging out in America. So they decided to sell this huge chunk of land called the Louisiana Territory to the United States. It turns into the United It doubled our size. So you see, this is how big we are right, right beforehand. Mm -hmm. And are you asking a question? I'm saying it's five minutes. Oh, thank you. And this is how big we're about to become. Right? 
So we're going to double our size. Now we still get, we end up with a whole portion of this as well from Spain, but that's another story. Today we're only going to be talking about how this biography, autobiography, about Lewis and Clark, who were the people who the president, Jefferson, sent out to discover what was in all of this area in the Louisiana Purchase. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Indians. Indians. Because who lived in the United States or in America before white people came? Are those Indians? Indians. Native Americans. Uh, and so Indians. Indians, yeah. yeah. Those are those are the um, the Lewis the and Clark people. expedition. The white people. Yes, but there were there were Native Americans, or we called them Indians, because when Christopher Columbus discovered America, he, he thought Indians. he well, he thought he was in India, so he called them Indians. But eventually, when we decide just it was America, we saw, called them Native Americans. So what we're going to do today is I am going to read this wonderful bi autobiography, right? Then we are going to think about certain things while I'm reading it. We are going to think about the adventures that they took, the different, are you listening? We're going to think about the adventures that they took, the different discoveries that they made, how the people felt while they were doing all of this adventuring, because sometimes adventuring is very hard. And we're also going to think about the time. So this was 200, no, I'm sorry, 1803? Yeah, 220 years ago, 215 years ago when this happened. So they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have regular telephones, they didn't even have telegraphs, they didn't have the post office. They couldn't easily communicate with one another far home when they left home. So they, they didn't left. Have phones. No, they didn't have anything. They didn't even have the post office. They couldn't send letters. Nothing. What the? So, ha, yeah. So you have to think about all the things that happened during their time that makes their life different, difficult and made their adventuring more, more you know, adventuresome. Okay, are we ready to begin? Yeah. Okay.